meteorologist Pete Mangione with your Pinpoint Weather 12 forecast. Hot and humid are the key words to the forecast from now all the way through the 4th of July. It's all thanks to this big ridge of high pressure, not only in the northeast, but across a good part of the country, not really breaking down anytime soon. And that is leading to temperatures like this. We're oh so close to the 90 degree mark in Providence, not quite sitting at 89 degrees, 86 in Smithfield, 82 in Westerly. Dew points in the low to mid 60s for most of the area, upper 60s though in Westerly. When we get to the upper 60s, that's when it really starts to feel sticky. I think you'll especially notice that humidity on Sunday. Tomorrow is muggy too, but just not as humid as on Sunday. Winds right now out of the northwest in Providence at 12 miles an hour, but notice along the coast, just a little bit of a breeze in Newport at 8 miles an hour. That is enough to cool things off a little bit here at the beaches, which will be a popular spot this weekend. It's already a popular spot now here from Narragansett Town Beach. Blue skies overhead in Providence right now with a few showers up here in northern New England and in portions of New Hampshire, Maine, but this continues to scoot away from us. So likely that does not affect our weather this evening. You can actually see that on the future cast. The, sh the showers continue to move offshore. So it's partly cloudy skies tonight. Maybe a little bit of patchy fog building along the south coast. Visibility in Providence should be okay, though, with temperatures in the upper 60s. Humidity kind of hanging on to those temperatures so they don't fall too much overnight through tomorrow morning. And that's why it's a very warm start tomorrow morning. If you're out there on that early morning walk or jog, we're already sitting at 80 degrees at 9 o'clock in the morning. By lunchtime, we're in the upper 80s and close to 90 from the uh, middle to the later part of the afternoon. Breezes start light and then they do pick up a little bit during the middle to the later part of the afternoon, which will feel nice given the heat and humidity. And you can see how that affects the temperatures, upper 70s to around 80 at the south coast and low 90s for inland spots. So it's not a bad beach weekend here, especially tomorrow. It's cooler, high of around 80. Then on Sunday, low to mid 80s, there may be times where we don't quite get those sea breezes on Sunday, making temperatures a little bit warmer at the beaches. And it's muggy tomorrow and then oppressively humid humid for Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, maybe into the 4th of July as well. So remember, it's not just the heat, it's also the humidity. Notice those 90s. There are a lot of them in the seven day future cast, especially warm on Sunday. And I did want to uh, point out this nice picture sent in by Janet Richardson. It looks like a sunset here and just enough cloud cover, Steve, where it makes the colors look kind of pretty out there. So beautiful. Um, a lot of scenes like that this weekend. I know you love the beach. I do. We should make a policy here. If the weather gets above 90 degrees, we get to anchor in flip-flops. That is a great policy. Let's yep. write that up and then submit okay. it. All right, sounds good. I'm in. All right, Caroline. Aren't you wearing flip-flops right now, Steve?